Fourth step. The amalgam is subjected to squeezing to remove as much mercury as possible. The old timer's method was to squeeze the amalgam through a chamois by placing the amalgam in the chamois and twisting it into a ball, tighter and tighter. The mercury would sweat through the chamois, leaving behind the gold, and some mercury. This method is not really a good idea because it puts you in skin contact with the mercury. As innocent as mercury looks, it is very poisonous and can be absorbed through the skin. The preferred small lot method is to place a wet cotton wad in the bottom of a hypodermic syringe, place the amalgam in the barrel, replace the plunger, and squeeze the amalgam against the wet cotton. The mercury goes through, leaving behind a slug of gold, and some mercury. You will find that this method produces an extremely fine separation, compared to the chamois, and at the same time is much easier. Retorting consists in distilling off the quicksilver from the amalgam and is done in a cast iron retort, a vessel having a cover which can be fastened on so tightly that no fumes of mercury escape except by the vapor pipe which leads from the cover to a vessel containing water, where the fumes of quicksilver are condensed to a metallic state. The vapor pipe must either have a water jacket surrounding it through which a small quantity of cold water is continuously passed during the operation, or, if that is not practicable, it can be wrapped with cloth and the cloth soaked with water to keep cool the pipe through which the quicksilver fumes are passing. 